So, I'm very happy today. Bienvenidos. Uh, hoy por fin ha llegado mi nueva impresora. Es una Reality Halot One 4K. Tuve bastantes días de dudas de si llegaría esta pequeña maravilla aquí a la Ciudad de México. So, many days I doubted that the printer would get here to Mexico City. Donc, ma nouvelle imprimante qui est ici dans sa boîte euh, mystérieuse. On va faire un unboxing un peu plus tard. Donc, euh, ici, c'est ma vieille imprimante, ma Solus 3D, avec le projecteur décoré. Évidemment, pas moi-même. Entonces, aquí está mi vieja impresora. Es una Solus 3D. Que ya tengo hace cuatro años. Y, pues, va a ser reemplazada por completo acá. Hay que saber que aquí... Pueden ver, pueden ver. Sí, sí, pueden tal vez ver. Bueno, en parte hay una computadora ahí. Because, uh, so this is my old printer, the Solus 3D, with a custom HD projector, obviously, uh, here in front, and the computer, because uh, something that was way different. Let's make some cleaning here. All right, so, uh, that the Solus 3D was a, it's a very good printer. It's a bit old now, so it's a bit slow. <laughs> But the resolution is a, was already amazing. And still is very amazing. But you need a computer connected to the Solus 3D to, to be able to, to run the printer. That's why it was a bit cheaper than other printer. But it wasn't that cheap. I paid um, at the time around $7,000 for the Solus 3D. And I, oh man, I did use this printer a lot during the four years that I still print on it but it's like sometimes I don't print at all and suddenly I have to print like 40 designs a week by example a bit more a bit less depends uh, on the work and I've been printing a lot with this printer and um, if uh, well generally I don't have Well, here are some old designs, or failed designs, here, with, still with the supports. And uh, with that printer, I had the, the famous B9 yellow. Here you can see the B9 yellow. And back in the day, the B9 yellow was uh, the most precise resine. So here we have some uh, little spot for handling the resine and I just bought obviously where's the new haha <laughs> here the Elegoo Mars this is the gray standard standard polymer resin this is from Elegoo so I first bought the resine those resins work with old printers with the same wavelength which is 405 nanometers it's uh, one of the standards for printing So this is a quick view of my workplace. Uh, I always have some things going. This is a prototype for a side of the ring that I'm doing. So these are the two sides that I printed on the on the Solus 3D. Still, so I'm not printing that much anymore uh, because also I finished the two liters B9 yellow that I bought uh, four years ago. And uh, it lasted because I <laughs> I generally print a lot of small items, so I don't use that much resin. And but I'm close to the end with uh, the B9 yellow. And nowadays it's crazy because uh, this printer uh, costs around um, a bit less than four hundred dollars, and the resin costs about. I'm talking about Mexico, costs about $60. Uh, 
with taxes and all of that. And uh, this printer costed around uh, seven thousand dollars. And the B9 yellow. Let's go back to the B9 yellow. The leader. Back in the day, I'm talking about. Okay, this is the resin. Okay, so this uh, B9 yellow, I bought it. I had two liters, so I already finished the liter, and I'm almost done with this one. It's almost empty. Um, here also, never forget that that's the bad side of 3D printing with resin. And in general, 3D printing is toxic. Um, so here I have the printers in a separated room. So it's, uh, I was also have obviously fire hazards equipment. I'm fully prepared because I sold here and Jolly, it's in here. This is one of my favorite assistants. Uh, she's called Little Moon. This is Little Moon. Say hi, Little Moon. Little Moon wants to explore, always wants to explore the drawers and things like that. So now they're obviously waiting uh, for me to make the, the unboxing because they want the box. This is Ayoka. She's here a bit under the table. So <laughs> let's start working. All right, so bienvenue à l'unboxing. Bienvenidos. Welcome to the unboxing of my new Reality One. Let's see what we can find in this mysterious box. So, like I already said, because I paid the printer. And I had literally no news at all from the company I bought it from here in Mexico. And I was reading a lot. So it says, Leia un montón. Je suis en train de lire beaucoup sur le fait que, bah, vous savez, we know that there's a lot of problems. Okay, here, oh, that's very nice. So we have, oh, that's great. We have a record, we have uh, the manual, all of that. We have a brush, we have some tools. That's really great. That's, that's really nice. Really, really nice. So we have some tools in the box, some manuals. And let's put that somewhere <laughs> under here. Okay, so and here is the printer. Obviously, I will have to remove my old Solus 3D printer, which is going to be retired. Okay, so, obviously, I generally don't do unboxings because I'm not very good at unboxings. But, <laughs> come on, so the plastic, here it comes. And it's red. This is uh, a very nice red. Okay, here we go. Here we go, and it's out. So, the size, it's not a very, very big printer, but that's what I wanted because it's going to take exactly the same place. Now, the same place that the Solus 3D had right there. Let's see if there's something more. <laughs> no, that's all. So we have some manuals, some tools. The box is now unboxed. It's empty. Now my cats want to play with the box and they are going to play in the box. <laughs> You'll see that in a couple of minutes. They're going to obviously jump into the box. All right, unboxing is done. So this is, this is great news. Let's start removing the cat feet here. <laughs> the cat, one of the cats, she's playing with the camera. Okay, donc si la caméra bouge beaucoup, si la caméra se mueve demasiado, es porque los gatos ahora están jugando con <laughs> la cámara. Okay, so let's keep the unboxing of this out of one. Okay, so that, like I was saying, uh, I've been reading on the social media that many people have bought 
their printers, and months after then, they're not get, getting their printers. Como decía, mucha gente paga sus impresoras y no las recibe, y peor aún aquí en México, obviamente. Bien, entonces la impresora viene cubierta en plástico. Ok, so we're going to remove all these plastics. Ok, this is the new... This is nice. This is very nice. Okay, so obviously I was very scared. I was very scared. Okay, so there's plastic everywhere on the screen protections. That's very nice. Um, some parts, okay. So down there, that's the resin tank. Okay, great. That's very similar to... Obviously, you need to remove... <laughs> I'll take a... Okay, that's great. Well, anyway, I'm going to close it for now to keep it clean from the dust. For Let's remove the plastic. Okay. So obviously I'm going to have a lot of advantages having a new printer uh, because the new printer uh, doesn't need a, another computer. So I'm going to have a third computer free for rendering and designing, <laughs> which is quite cool. Then the other thing, so like it was saying, that's the new, that's the new Hollow One, which is just a bit bigger than the Solus 3D, but the Solus 3D had a, a full HD projector and a computer attached to it. And that computer is pretty good. It's a bit old. It has two 760, GTX card, so it's a bit old, obviously. And uh, that's the empty box. The cats are still wandering around here and there. So, amazing. This was the unboxing of this Quality Hellot one. I will be installing it and running the first uh, gray resin printing tests. But this week, maybe next week, like I said, I don't have that much <laughs> to print lately. So I will be making some projects to take advantage of my new printer, of the new resins. They're way faster. And I was lucky because I was first buying an Lego Mars uh, Pro, but the internet <laughs> made me a favor because uh, the website never authorized uh, the payment with the, the credit card. So I started searching for another printer and I saw that the Halot one was 4K and actually was cheaper, is cheaper than the Mars Pro, at least here in Mexico. And um, it's a faster and better printer. So I was indeed, I guess, pretty lucky. And anyway, here we are. So I hope you enjoyed a lot this video. And uh, you keep being nice to people, be nice to animals, be nice to the planet. Uh, take care and see you soon.